Device Assembling and Parameter Setting Device Assembly 1. Place the device on solid and flat table or fix it on a stand. The user's operating position should be easy to access the device, and the information displayed by the device should be clearly visible. 2. The Oxygen Access One end of high-pressure oxygen tube is connected to high-pressure oxygen inlet of the equipment while the other end is connected to the reducing valve of an oxygen bottle or central oxygen supply interface of the hospital. The recommended oxygen source input pressure ranges from 0.3 MPA to 0.6 MPA. 3. Install the water chamber. Remove the knob caps on the two air outlets of the water chamber and install the adapter on the two air outlets of the water chamber. Gently press the heating plate, align it with the track, slide the water chamber in, and be careful to align it with the air outlet of the device. Then push the water chamber firmly until it clicks into place. 4. Connect the heated breathing tube to the air outlet of the water chamber adapter and fasten it to lock the adapter. 5. Hang the sterile water bag on the outer hook. Connect the water chamber and the water bag. Open the vent cap next to it, and water will automatically fill into the water chamber to the required water level. 6. Connect the power cord. 7. Connect the nasal interface with heated breathing tube. Now we are going to see the operation interface. 1. We use the main knob on the right side of the screen to select functions. Press the knob to confirm the selection. 2. Below the screen are the standby start button and mute button. 3. Now we see the parameter setting menu includes time, trend, temperature, flow, and FIO2. 4. In the main menu, rotate the knob to time, press the knob to enter. Then you can rotate the knob to set the treatment time, you can check the equipment usage time and maintenance time. 5. In the main menu state, rotate the cursor to the trend column and click the knob to enter. In this menu, you can view the review of the usage parameters for one day, three days, and seven days, and the trend graphs of temperature, humidity, flow, and oxygen concentration. Six, rotate the knob to back, press back to the main menu. Rotate the knob to temp, press the knob to temperature setting. In the main menu, you can rotate the knob to set temperature. Temperature of gas output from the device rises from 23 plus minus 2 degrees Celsius to setting temperature within 30 minutes and reference of temperature displayed is the air outlet temperature of patient interface. 7. Rotate the knob to back. Press back to the main menu. Rotate the knob to flow. Press down the knob for flow setting. Flow setting range is between 2 liters per minute and 70 liters per minute. 8. Rotate the knob to back. Press back to the main menu. Rotate the knob to O2. Press down the knob to oxygen concentration setting. Oxygen concentration setting range is between 21% O2 and 100% O2. 9. If we need to set a flow between 2 and 25 liters per minute, we need to enter low flow mode. The low flow mode setting. In the high flow mode, exit the settings interface. Press down the mute button and the knob simultaneously, and then the equipment will enter into the low flow mode. When this child face sign lights up on the interface, it means that the low flow mode has been set. In this mode, Temperature is locked at 34 degrees Celsius. Flow range is 2 to 25 liters per minute, and it increases or decreases by 1 liter per minute each adjustment. 10. Quit the low flow mode. Press down the mute button and the knob simultaneously. 
and then the equipment will go back to normal flow mode. At the same time, the child face sign will disappear. 11. Setting of humidification gear. If you need to select the humidification gear, enter the low flow mode first according to the above method. Rotate the knob to temperature and press down. Then click the alarm mute button and the knob five times simultaneously. There will be low, middle, high gears that can be selected. Press down the knob to select needed gear. Twelve. Long press the standby start for three seconds. The machine enters the treatment state. Then press treat standby button for another three seconds to stop treatment. Adjust the nasal prong position and head belt tightness until nasal cannula fits well. Ties the long belt to neck. Ties the short belt to head. Clamp the collar garment as a hold. Adjust the nasal congestion position and belt tightness.